Would you like a nice and attractive shop page like this for your online store? Many times, even if you have purchased a popular theme, your shop page doesn't look very good, and this is very disappointing as you want the page you make money with to shine. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a good looking and attractive shop page for your online store. I am using the Elementor Pro version, which is a paid plugin. However, it is not going to break your bank, and after all, I believe you will be rewarded with the final outcome. I am also using the free version of the Essential Add-ons for Elementor plugin. If you want to purchase the Elementor Pro, I will leave the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I may receive a small commission if you purchase it. There is no additional charge to you, and it helps me continue to create the free content that we publish. So let's start with the tutorial. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. I have just created a new WordPress website using the Astra theme and WooCommerce. As you can see here, our shop page looks plain and, to be honest, not very good looking. For the purpose of this demo, I have created the six flower products as you see them on screen. Right now I have installed only three plugins, Elementor in both free and pro versions, and WooCommerce. This is how the shop page looks right now. Let's go to the dashboard and check if the theme we use is Astra, the free version. Okay, the Astra theme is active. In the meantime, I took the chance to install another free plugin. The essential add-ons for Elementor add some extra tools to the Elementor page builder, and I am going to use one of them for customizing the product's grid. If you want to add it to your website, you click Add New. Then you search for Essential Add-ons for Elementor. It's the one at the top left corner right here. So you click install and then activate. I have already activated it in my case, as you see here. Another thing I have done is that I have created a few product subcategories under the main category, which is flowers, and assigned my products to them. You can see the color categories here on the products page. Also, you can see them on the category administration page. Now it's time to start with the shop page customization. I am going to the Elementor templates and I selected Theme Builder. This is the new Theme Builder area, but I am used to the table view, so I am going to switch from here. Next, I click on the Product Archive tab. As you see, I have already created a Product Archive template which I used for showing you the customized shop page. To confirm what I have just told you, let's open the template in another tab. Alright, this is the page we want to recreate. So let's go back to the dashboard and create a new products archive template. Click add new. Of course, the template type is products archive and I call it products archive number 2. Click create template. I don't want any of the pre-made templates, so close this window. Okay, now let's start the design. Click the plus icon to add a single column section. In this section I am going to put the banner image, so I'm bringing the picture element from the left column. Let's now select the banner from the media gallery. From the Style tab, I am going to style it so the height of the banner is 350 pixels. Now, from the Settings icon at the bottom left corner, I am going to change the page layout to Elementor Full Width. Now, click on the plus icon to add a double column section. Let's make the left column width equal to 20%. From the Style tab, I am going to change the background color. I am going to pick something that matches the banner on top. Okay, I think this pink color is good for now. 
Now click the plus sign inside the column and then search for the NAV menu element. This is going to pick up any of the available menus on the system. So, it has picked up the shop menu I designed for the demo, but don't worry because right now I am going to show you how to create a menu. Before going to the dashboard, let's change the layout to be vertical. The menu looks much better now. Now, let's go back to the dashboard, appearance, folder, and click on menu. This is the shop menu I have already created. Click to create a new menu. Give it the name, shop menu number 2. Click, create menu. Now, from the left column, click on, product categories. If you don't see the, product categories, in your installation, then you must click on the, screen options, in the top right corner. Now, make sure you check the, product categories. Okay, now select all the, product categories, and add them to the menu. Then click, save menu. Now I am going back to the, products archive, template. As you see, the new menu, is still not available, because I haven't saved the template. I will do that in a while, but before that, let's add the product grid element to the page. This element is from the, essential add-ons from Elementor, plugin. I am going to drag it here, to the right side of the page. As you see, it brings some of the products and the layout is already good, although I am going to make it a little better right now. So I am going to change the layout to masonry, and the style preset to, preset 8. I want the product, in three columns. In product settings, change the source to, dynamic. This option makes the menu active and selects the products by category. I am leaving the products count equal to 4 because I have only 6 products in the database. So I am going to load more and activate it. As you see, it is on the page now. Let's now click on publish. Elementor asks for a condition to use the template. I should now select all product archives or just shop page. As you see, it produces an error message because I have already created another template, which I showed you at the beginning of this video. So let's not save the template and go back to the dashboard. Again, I am going to the Elementor theme builder templates. Switch to table view. The one on top is in draft mode as I wasn't able to save it yet. I am going to trash the previous template. Now let's return to the template in editing and click to publish it. Click add condition and select either all product archives or just shop page. Save and close. Let's now check the page. Okay, this is how the page looked when using the previous template and I am going to click on shop in the menu bar to reload the page. Okay, we are close, but not quite there yet. Back to editing the template. Let's reload the page first. Click here to make a few changes to the menu. Now I am able to select shop menu number 2, which, of course, is identical to the first one. For the pointer, I am going to select background. I think it looks better. Click here to make a change to the banner. I am going to change the image size and make it larger. Click update. Now I am going to make a few changes to the product grid. From the style tab, I am going to change the color of the price to green. For the sale badge, there is a better way to show it on the product. I think it's in the content tab in the sales section. So I selected the preset 5, and I think it's better now. Okay, let's now go back to style and change the color of the buttons. This purple color, I want it to be green.
let's select the pink color for the load more button. I guess something like that is good. In the pop-up window that comes live on screen if you click this eye icon, I want to change the purple, add to cart, button to green. Now click update and let's see the page. Let's reload the page to get a fresh look. As you can see, we have a nice looking shop page. The page loads more products with the load more button. Also, the pop-up window is very convenient. Finally, the menu works dynamically based on the product categories. That concludes our tutorial for today. I hope you found this video useful as I have shown you how to create a good looking and attractive shop page for your online store. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.